In this video, we will be learning a little bit about solid geometry. To do that, we will be using a problem from AMC 8 or American Mathematics Competition 8. You can check the link in the description for a free toolbox. These toolboxes are useful for Math Olympiad, ISI entrance and college mathematics. Now let me tell you the problem. We start with a cube. So let's draw a square like this first. And then I draw another square that overlaps the first one. So it's like this. And then I'll join these corners to complete the cube. Now I'll give names to the vertices A, B, C and D and the top vertices as E, F, G and H. Let's mark the midpoints as J and I of these two edges. So J is the midpoint of BF and I is the midpoint of HD. Finally, let's join JE, CJ, EI and CI. We will be interested in this quadrilateral that is sort of floating inside the cube. It's quite beautiful actually. So our goal is to find out area of C I E J. In fact, we can assume that each edge is one. Each edge of the cube is one. Of the cube is one unit. And this will highly simplify our calculations. The first thing is that if you look at this picture very carefully, the first thing that you would want to know what kind of quadrilateral is this? So here is a hint. This is a rhombus. I mean, I'll tell you why in a moment. But before I do that, I have a question for a little bit more matured viewers. Is this rhombus a square? Is this a square or is it a non-square rhombus? That is, the opposite sides are equal. That makes it a rhombus. Additionally, if the angles are 90 degree, then it becomes a square. A square is a very special type of rhombus. Not only its all sides are equal, all its angles are also equal. So my question to a little bit matured reader viewer is, is this also a square? And I want you to comment in support of your argument, whatever you think. Okay. But first, let's try to show that it's a rhombus. And that's very easy, actually. So let's look at this JE segment, JE. Let's look at that. What can we say about JE? Well, it's a part of this right triangle. So we can say J square by using Pythagoras theorem. We can say J square is one half square because JF is one half. So one half square plus one square, which is FE square. Now, that calculation, I mean, we can simplify this, but we don't really need to because 
the same calculation will work for JC. Now in this triangle right here, this is one half, this is one. This is one half, this is one. So JC square is also one half square plus one square. The same argument would work for CI. CI square ci squared equals to one half square plus one square and the same thing would work for e h i e h i this particular triangle again we have e h is one and h i is half so e i squared will be equal to one half squared plus one squared. So we just showed that all the four sides of this quadrilateral are equal, hence it's a rhombus. Okay, it's still the question whether it's a square is still open. So I'm hoping that you are thinking about it. Now let's join EC and JI. In fact, I will erase some of the other shadings to make this picture look a little bit better okay so there is a formula for area of a rhombus I'll go to a next slide and show it to you so if you have a rhombus like this say X Y Z W all four sides are equal now, the first thing that you have to know is that the diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other and they are perpendicular. They are perpendicular to each other. So can you give me an argument why this is true? Why can we say that these two diagonals bisect each other and this angle is 90 degree? And the second thing is there is an area of a rhombus formula. We discussed this in our Math Olympiad program at greater detail. But area of a rhombus is half times product of the diagonals. So you can just multiply the length of the diagonals and divide by 2 to get the area of a rhombus okay so we will be using that here now the first thing is what is the length of this diagonal CE well that's quite simple that's diagonal of a unit cube so CE is equal to square root of 3 you can easily derive it the diagonal of a unit cube is always square root of 3 and you can see it by creating this right angle triangle and sort of looking at this one as square root of 2 and this one as 1 then applying Pythagoras theorem here. So CE is square root of 2 and to find out the other diagonal JI you basically have to push this up this JI up by half units. If you push Ji up, that is translated by half units, then you will reach Fh. So the strategy is this. Translate, that is move up Ji by one half unit. And you will reach Fh. The length of GI is therefore same as the length of FH. Translation or push movement in some sense is a very important type of geometric transformation. We learn it in our geometry modules of Math Olympiad and ISI CMI entrance programs. But at the moment we will directly use it. So GI is equal to FH. So FH is 
square root of 2 because you can just look at this particular triangle this is 1 this is 1 so we can apply Pythagoras theorem here sorry here so we know what is C we know what is FH so we can directly find out the area of CIEJ which is half times square root of 3 times square root of 2 so that's your final answer give a comment explaining why this rhombus is or isn't a square and also give me a reason why this claim about diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other and they're perpendicular to each other is true and how can we deduce from there that this is the area of formula of a rhombus i'll see you in the next one keep on doing great mathematics